Recently, the chief data officer of a bank in the Fortune 100 told me that in his opinion, AI-generated synthetic data will be one of the most important topics for them in the upcoming 8 to 10 years. And he's by far not the only one recognizing the tremendous potential of synthetic data for privacy-friendly AI and big data innovation. But before we look into how synthetic data helps with privacy protection, let's start with the basics. What is AI-generated synthetic data? And this is easiest to understand when you look at images. The people on the screen, would you say they look realistic? Most people tell me, yes, they look completely realistic. But surprisingly, this is AI-generated synthetic data, based on a research project NVIDIA did. And what they did is they trained machine learning algorithms on hundreds of thousands of human faces, up to the point where the algorithm really understood how a human face looked like, on which position the eyes are, what distance between eyes is logical, and so on. And once this training was completed, you could use this algorithm to generate, by the press of a button, unlimited new synthetic faces who look completely realistic but have never existed before. And it's important to understand that this approach doesn't work in a way where it takes the eyes from person A, the nose from person B and the mouth from person C and shuffles everything around a little bit. No, it's just using the learned information to generate new faces completely from scratch. So when you look at this graphic on top, you can see the synthetic faces. And below that are images from the training sample. But these aren't any images from the training sample. These are the images that were most similar to the generated synthetic faces. And as you can see, there's no one-to-one -one copy of any nose or any pair of eyes. It's just using the information, learning the patterns and correlations, and using this information for the new synthetic face. And that's the beauty of AI-generated synthetic data, that it's not swapping information around, but learning and generating something new. And synthetic data is not something that's limited to faces. You can use the exact same approach to generate synthetic cats, synthetic tweets, or even synthetic Facebook profiles. And what we at Mostly AI specialize in is synthetic behavioral and transactional data, like bank transactions, synthetic medical data, or synthetic mobility data, because this is where synthetic data for big data privacy gets really exciting. But before we look into more detail in how synthetic data helps with privacy protection, I want to emphasize a point. Namely, why it's AI-generated synthetic data and not other types of synthetic data everybody gets so excited about. And the reason for that is that AI-generated synthetic data is only possible due to recent advancements in deep neural network, which allow us to generate this highly accurate and shockingly realistic data, whereas synthetic data from other types has always been around. What types of synthetic data have always been around? If you think of synthetic data as not real data, it's actually very easy to generate synthetic data. I myself could go and look at the same images the NVIDIA algorithm looked at to then generate a new synthetic face from scratch. Of course, that's a horrible representation of how a human face looks like. But the basic concepts like the eyes and the hairs are there. Nevertheless, Drawing all these faces yourself would be very time-consuming and not useful at all. So usually you wouldn't find this type of data on the market. But what you do find on the market are rule-based synthetic data. And the difference here comparing it to AI-generated synthetic data is that you simply use the help of machines to encode your understanding of how a human face looks like and get synthetic faces created more time efficiently, but not necessarily better and more accurately than drawing them yourself. Because it's always limited to your understanding versus the power of AI lies in the ability of these algorithms to understand and identify patterns and correlations even in complex, large, huge data sets. And this is something we humans can't do. So this is the big difference why everybody's talking about AI-generated synthetic data and this is the data that's so powerful for privacy protection. How it helps you with privacy protection, this is something we will cover in the next clip.